it's Ashlyn and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different because I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience working at Forever 21 as an employee. Whenever I first started working at Forever 21 I was really nervous and so I went to YouTube to try to see other people's experience working at Forever 21 and it was very helpful and kind of scary too. And so I wanted to make my video just because I've been there and done that. I don't work at Forever 21 anymore, but I wanted to go ahead and make my video to throw it out there so other people can kind of know what they're getting into. I'll start off this video by saying that everything that I kind of get into while making this video and start talking about Forever 21, I don't want to scare anybody because some of these experiences aren't Forever 21. It was just my story. Just because this happened to me does not mean that it's going to happen to you. This is just what happened to me, my experience working at Forever 21. So with all of that said, disclaimer is aside, let's go ahead and get started. I was hired as holiday help. So right around this time, a few years ago, I was hired as holiday help at Forever 21 and my first day was Black Friday. Now the hiring process was pretty self-explanatory. You go in for an interview um, and then in my interview they wanted you to pick out an outfit and if they liked your outfit and you could explain why you picked out the outfit and what's your fashion inspiration, um, you pretty much got the job. It's not rocket science. Before we get into my experience and all that stuff, I want to go ahead and kind of give you a quick little breakdown of Forever 21 so you can kind of understand the lingo. So you have managers, um, visual aids, and then sales associates. The managers obviously manage. And then the sales associates is what I was and you're basically in charge of zones. And a zone is like a different part in Forever 21 because I'm sure as you are familiar with Forever 21, you know that a lot of their stores are very big. And so each sales associate is um, assigned to a section of Forever 21 and you're kind of in charge of keeping it up and keeping customers happy and we'll just get into that a little bit later. Then you have a visual aid and there's normally about four or five of those. There was about three in my store. In charge of kind of making the store look pretty and like they dress mannequins. So now that we're hired and we're in now, you got the job, you're good. We're going to go ahead and talk about what is it like working at Forever 21 and kind of my experience. So as I said, I was hired during the holidays and I was a sales associate. So as a sales associate, you are pretty much working the floor in your specific zone. And as I said, so there's normally like a back zone, a front zone, the cash registers, and then two people on the sides of the store. And the people who are on the floor, as I said, are just kind of cleaning up and your job is to pretty much go up to customers, ask them if they need any help or customers will mostly come up to you. And this was my favorite part because I really liked um, whenever customers would come up to me and ask me for like outfit advice and I just, that's why I wanted the job in the first place is because I really like fashion. Aside from helping customers, you are either just picking up your specific zone and in each zone there's a go back rack and on the go back rack there's just clothes that's come from the fitting room and you just put those up and you're basically just focused on your area that you've been assigned to for the day. If you're up front, you're saying hi to everyone, you're handing out little baskets, you're cleaning, you're mingling with customers and all as well. Now that I kind of went through all of that stuff, I'm going to be talking to you guys about why I liked working at Forever 21 because even though I don't work there anymore and it maybe didn't end the best, I really did enjoy my job working there. Like I said, I really like the fashion aspect of it. I really liked being able to to dress the way I wanted to and really be creative with the way that I dress. As I said, I also didn't mind the customers. Some customers are mean and some customers are really nice, but you'll get mean customers and nasty customers no matter where you work. And so Forever 21 wasn't really any different. Really, as I said, liked helping people pick out outfits. Normally people will come up to you and ask for a different size, what they should wear, where this is, do you have more of them, and so on and so on. And so those are kind of like the questions that you get asked all the time. And lastly, I just really like the store. I've always liked Forever 21 and working at a Forever 21 had always been a dream of mine whenever I moved to a bigger town. And so I just really liked the store. It was a cool, hit place to work and I enjoyed my time there for the most part, but as all good things, sometimes it has to come to an end, which brings me to why I did not like working there and ultimately why I had to quit my job. So the first thing that automatically turned me off to Forever 
Forever 21 and working was the hours of the day that you had to work. I normally worked closing shifts and my mall location normally stayed open till about 9, but you have to stay at least until 10 to clean up the store. And so this is what I did not like about working was because you cannot leave Forever 21 without the store being like pristine and everything put back in its proper place and everything clean, everything up off the floor. Like the place has to be spotless before you can go home. Having said that, like that would sometimes mean that you didn't get out until 1130 and there was even times where I didn't even get out until midnight. And that was always kind of an anxiety for me because I didn't know when I was going to get to go home. The thing that I didn't like about it was my particular store, and I don't know if other Forever 21s are like this, but they didn't do a very good job honoring my times of availability that I had. Whenever I worked at Forever 21, I was also a student and there was times where I specifically said I couldn't work and I would always go and look at the schedule and I would be scheduled anyway. Another thing that I didn't like, as, as anyone who's probably watching this knows, that most Forever 21s are very, very big. With a big store comes like a lot of clothes. Like Forever 21 is pretty much just like a huge garage sale. And so there's like all these different zones and each zone has like a theme, whether that be like um, bohemian, girly, vintage. And so you have to find where each item of clothing goes. Like if you're working in the fitting room, like I often did, you're not only in charge of your zone, but you also have to pick up all of the clothes that nobody wanted in the fitting room and distribute them back into the store. So because the store is so big and there's so many clothes and stuff like that, it makes cleaning up at the end of the night really hard. And that just kind of ties back into you don't get to go home until it is clean. All those things aside, what actually finally ended up happening was at my particular store whenever you work at a forever 21 you normally work there at a pretty young age as it's kind of targeted towards um younger people um that also means that you're going to be working with some younger employees now all of the employees at my location at forever 21 were all female and so you can only imagine whenever you get about 14 or 15 ages 20 through 17 girls, there's going to be some drama, but that's every job. Every job is going to have drama and things like that. But with Forever 21, we are all the same age. We were all going to school and just weird stuff happened. Ultimately, that's what kind of made me decide to quit Forever 21 and look for another job, which is because I'm not really that kind of a person that likes to get into a lot of confrontation. And with the holidays approaching, um, it's November now, and so I'm sure that they're hiring for holiday help right now. It is a crazy time of the year to work, so all I have to say is to good luck to anyone who is going to be starting. My hope for you is that if you do, and if you are interested in working at Forever 21, you can kind of start working maybe in October and November and ease your way into the holiday season because it hits you hard whenever your first couple of days is the Black Friday Christmas time shopping because people are crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. Good luck to anyone who is going to be working at Forever 21 or who is interested in working at Forever 21. I've watched other YouTube videos and it seems pretty divided, but I would go ahead and say go for it. It's a cool job to work out whenever you're a teenager. You get to dress however you want and you get a discount. My store offered a 10% discount and that doesn't seem like a lot, but Forever 21 clothes aren't that expensive. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. If you aren't subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If not, it's totally fine. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that information is listed down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the holiday season and I hope you guys had a good Halloween and I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya!